Hello everyone, Executo here. Please enjoy this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram and Facebook. Get aesthetic, brah. Okay, today's video is to explain what HIT training is. What I'm going to explain today is how to use it, what it is, and the most effective ways to use HIT training. First off guys, HIT training is pretty much another term for interval training. Interval training guys is a type of cardio that you go up and down in, so pretty much you mean meaning is you go high pace for 30 seconds, low pace for 30 seconds, and you constantly go up and down with the pace. Interval training is a high pace cardio, high paced and low paced because you're resting for 30 seconds and speeding up for 30 seconds, you could do 30 seconds, 45 seconds a minute. A lot of people change it up depending on how much fat they want to lose, how high paced cardio they want to do it, you know, it all depends on what you want to do and how far you really want to take this. Examples of interval training or HIIT training are pretty much going on the treadmill, going for about 9 kilometers an hour and then going for 6 kilometers an hour changing that between every 30 seconds. For instance guys, this is what I do. So I walk on the treadmill for five minutes just to warm up my legs on incline, you know, get a little bit of uh, warmed up legs, right? So then I put it lower on the incline, I put in pretty much no incline. I put up to nine kilometers an hour. I sprint for 30 seconds, then I get off. I don't even, I don't move at all. I just literally stand on the treadmill for 30 seconds. Then I leave it at nine kilometers an hour and I sprint again. I do that for another 10 minutes, so that's 15 minutes of cardio. People do around 15 to 20 minutes cardio. I recommend doing 15 to 20 minutes of cardio, but that's what I do, guys. That's an example of HIIT training. There's many, many types of examples of HIIT training. Another example of HIIT training, guys, is on the bicycle. So you could do uh, gear 16 to 18 between then, sprint from 100 kilometers to 120 kilometers an hour, do that for 30 to 45 seconds, you can go to a minute. Really depends on how you feel with cardio, you know, if you're still lacking that area or if you're really professionalized in that area and you can do that 30 seconds 45 minute whatever you like rest 35 45 a minute shorter rest time obviously is going to make your heart rate a lot higher allowing you to burn a lot more fat but also you got to know your limit guys because you don't want to burn that muscle i find this hit training the most effective cardio out there really like there are slow paced cardios like going upstairs there's fast paced cardio where you're constantly going fast but the reason why I found this the most effective, guys, is because your heart rate is constantly going up and down. And what it does is it allows you to burn fat. So your, your heart rate has to be above 130 to burn fat. That's what I believe is the case. And in order for that to happen, you need to be constantly going up. If you're already up always, you're going to feel like it's normal for you. But if you're going down, so you're resting for 30 seconds and you're sprinting all of a sudden. And your heart rate goes up, up, up. And it allows you to burn that fat and your oxygen, so your lungs are going to be building up. So it's going to be, you're going to be constantly breathing. So your lungs are going to be built as well. So you're going to be better. It's going to be better for you to intake oxygen and let the carbon dioxide out, of course. But you're going to have better breathing, better cardio, lose fat, and you can become more of an athlete. And it's going to allow you to have more of that athlete figure. And no, guys, you can't do HIIT training with weights. You can't take a weight and say, okay, I'm going to do... 30 reps for 30 seconds, then put it down and rest for 30 seconds. I'll do 30 more reps for 30 seconds and rest. That's not how it works, guys. HIIT training is a type of interval training, so you can do it on the bike, treadmill, whatever you do. You use sprinting outside. Just really any type of cardio, guys. You, use, you could um, incorporate this type of training into your workout. I recommend it. If you are in a cutting phase like I am right now, I do it pretty much every day or every second day at least. And it allowed me to burn a lot of fat. Like I used to be 184, now I'm 171. I lost a lot of fat, guys. I'm currently cutting down, so I'm looking a lot more thin, lean. And what you guys should do is, honestly, I recommend using this, guys. Try it. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. You can do many types of cardio out there. But um, HIIT training, HIIT cardio, interval cardio, any of that stuff, guys, whatever you want to call it, is really good. And it doesn't burn your muscle as much as if you would do long, long, long paces of cardio, in my opinion. So I hope that, that gave you a brief explanation of what HIIT training is, how to use it, maybe even if you wanted to incorporate it. But uh, anyways, guys, leave comments below on what my next video should be, on things I should talk about, on things you might not know. Um, all that good stuff, guys. Leave a like below, come subscribe, and get aesthetic.